I believe in the Church of Baseball. I've tried all the major religions and most of the minor ones. I've worshipped Buddha, Allah, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, trees, mushrooms, and Isadora Duncan. I know things. For instance, there's 108 beads in a Catholic rosary. And there's 108 stitches in a baseball. When I learned that, I gave Jesus a chance. But it just didn't work out between us. The Lord laid too much guilt on me. I prefer metaphysics to theology, you see. There's no guilt in baseball. And it's never boring. <laughs> which makes it like sex. There's never been a ball player slept with me who didn't have the best year of his career. <laughs> Making love is like hitting a baseball. You just got to relax and concentrate. Besides, I'd never sleep with a player hitting under 250. Not unless he had a lot of RBIs and was a great glove man up the middle. You see, there's a certain amount of life wisdom I give these boys. I can expand their minds. Sometimes when I get a ball player alone, I'll just read Emily Dickinson or Walt Whitman to him. And the guys are so sweet. They always stay and listen. Of course, a guy will listen to anything if he thinks it's foreplay. <laughs> I make them feel confident, and they make me feel safe and pretty. Of course, what I give them lasts a lifetime. What they give me lasts 142 games. Sometimes it seems like a bad trade, but bad trades are part of baseball. Who can forget Frank Robinson for Milk Pappas? <laughs> for God's sake. It's a long season, and you gotta trust it. I've, I've tried them all, I really have, and the only church that feeds the soul day in and day out is the Church of Baseball. I'm Corinne Rogan, and I'm non-union. Thank you.